Mikola Reboshavka, a grain grower and builder, is a member of the Supreme Soviet of the Ukraine. Tatiana Gavrilova, a farmer, hails from Cherkask region. As a deputy of the people, she's a member of the Constitutional Commission of the Republic's Parliament. Her prime concern is growing wheat and providing for the people's future. Steel smelter Viktor Nikitenko makes some of the best steel in the world, but on Sundays his hobby is cooking real Ukrainian borscht. Steel is his calling, yet the uppermost meaning of his life is to serve the people. He's one of the deputies to the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, the National Parliament. The Supreme Soviet of the Ukraine is the highest body of state power in the Republic. All the laws of the Republic are endorsed here. All for the sake of man, all for the well-being of man. This is the main law of Soviet society, the main goal of all the efforts of the Communist Party and government. The Soviet Constitution guarantees citizens the right to housing. Rent amounts to 2 to 4 percent of a family's budget. This is the apartment of the Slobodyanik family in the town of Vila Tserkva. Housing, education, secondary and higher, children's daycare centers, all this is provided free of charge. Children are the only privileged class. All our love and concern are for them. They have new schools, kindergartens, young pioneer palaces. Thank you. Uh, do you like me? Sure, I like you. And what about you? I like give in spring. Well, children, who else wants to tell us about spring? Who else? Raise your hand. May I tell you a poem about spring? Of course you may. So begin. Spring is here. Little yellow buttercup, why don't you come up? Spring is here. Spring is here. Every third citizen in the Ukraine today is continuing his or her education in one form or another. 76% of the workers and employees have a secondary or higher education. The Republic has 143 colleges and universities and 724 junior colleges. This is a new wing of the Lvov Polytechnical Institute. The state provides each and every person with medical aid free of charge. The rich forests and parks, the sunny beaches of the Azov and Black Seas give plenty of vim and vigor to vacationers. Eight million people annually spend their leaves at Ukrainian resorts on vouchers at reduced prices. Every worker is provided with an annual government paid leave. Ukrainian songs and dances which enchant the world, the national traditions which we have preserved and enhanced, acquire new meaning. Carpathian Mountains, they celebrate Polonina when they see off shepherds for a whole season.
I here pronounce you man and wife, the founders of a new family, and those who will continue the family of man for the well-being of our state, the immortality of the Soviet people, and personal happiness. The common goals, equality of all Soviet peoples, the feeling of one single family, just relations in society, which is free from crises and unemployment, the confidence of each and every one in the morrow, in the ideals of communism, create an atmosphere of trust and solidarity, consolidate a new fraternal entity with a proud name, the Soviet people. Our optimism is based on the Soviet constitutional guarantees for men to participate in state government, for national dignity, for employment, education, without which there is no, nor can there be, real freedom. This is the Ukraine. Ukraine stretches from the Carpathian Mountains to the Donetsk Ridge. Legend has it that the city on the banks of the Dnieper River was founded by three brothers. Ki, Shrek, and Khoriv, and their sister, Libet. Gold cupola Kiev, the capital of the medieval state of Kiev and Rus, the cradle of three fraternal peoples, the Russians, Ukrainians, and Belarusians. traces of historical events of 15 centuries. Today, Kiev is the capital of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. 
one of the 15 constituent republics of the Soviet Union. The Supreme Soviet of the Ukraine is the Republic's legislature. Matters of state are resolved here by 570 deputies, industrial workers, farmers, scholars, and writers. capital of the Ukraine has over two million people and thousands of tourists the year round. The museums here display collections of national relics and works of art. Historical monuments and architectural ensembles reflect the rich culture of the people. spread from the right bank of the Dnieper to the left bank, where residential districts have grown up on man-made foundations in place of marshlands. The Dnieper is the chief waterway of the Republic. of this river, there is a sacred place where every riverboat sounds its horn. Beneath a mound at the city of Kanyeva is the burial place of the bardo Ukraine, Taras Shevchenko. The son of a serf spent his joyless childhood here. In this house, which is now a museum, he was taught the ABCs by the village deacon. This is the site of the house where the great Ukrainian revolutionary democrat Taras Grigorievich Shevchenko was born. of poplar trees, whitewashed villages amid the green grandeur of orchards and woods, a land of folk songs. An open-air museum displays objects of the handicraft arts of years gone by. Ukrainian hut, the home of an average peasant. Special efforts are undertaken to preserve the works of national handicraftsmen, hand-woven rugs, embroidery, woodwork, artistic processing of stone and metal. Paraska Homa lives in the village of Chernyatin. She devotes all her leisure time to her favorite pastime, drawing flowers. Exhibits of her works have been displayed in many cities of the world. Folk 
customs and traditions have been preserved up to the present day. A customary holiday in the Carpathian Mountains is when the local villagers see off the shepherds with their herds to mountain pasture lands. The folklore, customs and rituals vividly reflect the national character of the Ukrainians, industriousness, a sense of humor, lyricism, and a passionate love of songs. Mother Nature endowed that land with a mild climate and fertile black earth, occupying two-thirds of the Republic. The Ukraine today accounts for one-fifth of the agricultural output of the Soviet Union. scale mechanized cooperative and state farms have been organized here. Here is one such cooperative farm in Cherkask region. This huge farm is supervised by Tatyana Gavrilova. Besides being chairman of the cooperative farm, she is also a member of the Supreme Soviet of the Ukraine. Both agriculture and industry in the Ukraine are being developed hand in glove with other Soviet peoples in an overall national economic undertaking of the country. Soviet republics gave a helping hand in building modern mines and metallurgical mills in the Donbass and Dnieper River areas. The Ukraine's industry today includes over 150 branches. and hydroelectricity, of which there is an abundance in the Ukraine, have laid the groundwork for a powerful energetic base. All the Ukrainian power stations are hooked up to the single power grid of the European part of the Soviet Union.
scores of new towns have appeared on the map of the Republic, especially in the south, in the Donbass, which is considered a treasure chest of the country for its minerals. Donetsk is the heart of the mining industry, a major industrial and scientific center with a million man population. The city has 150 industrial enterprises, including 22 coal mines. Yet, the air here is clean. Waste rock from the mines is no longer brought up to the surface. It is left in underground cavities. Old slag heaps have been planted with greenery, shrubs, and trees. Every year, 8,000 families here hold housewarming parties in apartments presented to them by the state. A city of a million roses, an example of what can be achieved by an industrial city to make it cozy, attractive, and convenient for people. economy needs specialists of many professions. A third of the Republic's population is studying. There are 171 students for every 10,000 of the population. The National Science Academy is the center of scientific thought in the Republic. The president of the Academy, Boris Paton. We are engaged in research in all directions. Primarily, these are fundamental investigations in the field of natural and social sciences. Ever since our inception, our scientists have made great discoveries and made a formidable contribution to the treasure chest of Soviet and world science. Back in the 30s, the first accelerator of elementary particles and the first electronic computer in the Soviet Union were built in the Ukraine. Ukrainian scientists have made significant advances in the field of isotopes in power metallurgy, in producing artificial diamonds in microbiology. The works of the Evgeny Paton Electric Welding Institute have been acknowledged throughout the world. Many countries are eager to acquire licenses for its unique equipment. The exchange of scientific and engineering achievements between the Ukraine and other Soviet republics, as well as countries belonging to the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, has become traditional. The power system Mir, the oil pipeline Druzhba, link the republic with Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Bulgaria, and other countries of the socialist community. There is on the Black Sea a regular ferry service linking Ilichovsk and Varna. Merchant vessels flying flags from many countries can be seen in its ports. But the sea here is not only a means of reaching all the oceans and continents. It means beaches, mud baths, and health resorts. The sun-bathed shores of the Crimea, the evergreen, picturesque Carpathian mountains, the salubrious air, the curative mineral waters, the abundance of fruit, interesting monuments, are great attractions at the resorts.
famous surgeon, Nikolai Amosov. Наша медицина обладает одним незаменимым качеством. Она абсолютно доступна. Our medical services are distinguished by a specific feature. They are accessible to all. The fact that they are free of charge is known to one and all. But that is not all. Any person can have all the necessary treatment, all the required procedures. We have a well-organized system of specialized medical care. We have first-class hospitals. Every person can receive the specialized medical care according to his or her illness. are very popular today, and the stars of sport can only be envied in this respect. The Republic boasts a whole galaxy of athletes. This is the home of the famous yachtsman, twice Olympic champion, Valentin Mankin. Olympic champion hammer thrower, Yuri Sedich. World record holder and European champion high jumper, Vladimir Yashchenko, and dozens of others of champions of the Soviet Union, European and World Tournaments, and Olympic Games. There is a whole legion of fans rooting for the Kiev football team, one of the acknowledged leaders of Soviet football, eight times national champions.